Hi everybody, so these two actuators are on the uh, right hand side of the Santa Fe uh, with the dual um, air conditioning system. So on the right hand drive car this happens to be the driver's side of the car and um, the top actuator here is the one that controls the flow of the air through the various uh, vents. So that one wasn't the problem. The lower one here is the, um, the faulty one on, on my car. This is the one which controls the temperature. This is the blender for the temperature, uh, hot and cold. So this is the faulty one. I'm going to order a new one of these. I'll just get the part number for you because you may well have this problem. That's the part number there. Thankfully this one, being the lower of the two, is a little bit easier to get to, but I still think you're going to have to re unbolt the, uh, the emergency brake uh, pedal assembly to get good access to the Phillips screws, especially uh, these top ones here. You may not be able to get the screwdriver onto them, you might have to use a little right angle ratchet drive or something and um, probably quicker just to remove the uh, foot brake assembly for the emergency brake. So uh, proving that this was the problem, uh, with the car running I just have to move the little actuator on the side of the um, AC unit with my hand and when it's downwards I'm getting uh, the cool coming through, the air conditioning coming through, the cold air, then when I move it to the upwards position I'm getting all of the hot uh, temperature coming through, all of the heat coming through. And uh, this would actually give you um, a variety of in between those two um, limits. So until I end up fitting the new one, <laughs> because I've been like this for a couple of years, I'm probably um, temporarily anyway just going to reach underneath there and flip the, um, the lever either way depending on whether I want to be hot or cold. Um, as we're heading into the summer months now, I'm just going to leave it on the cool position for the AC for, for chilling. Uh, as we approach winter, if I haven't got the part by then, I'll just move the flap to the top position, allowing me to have heat on the driver's side of the car. Now this is completely independent of the passenger side. Uh, they've got complete adjustment um, of hot and cold uh, AC. This is the other side of the vehicle. Okay, so um, thank you for watching. Hopefully, hopefully this will um, help you if you've got this same problem. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a frustrating problem because it makes you uh, not want to use the vehicle um, uh, in the winter time because you're just too damn cold on that side of the car. Uh, so um, not a big job, but it just takes a bit of um, time and effort uh, to get to the actual faulty part, which I think on eBay sells for about 30 to $40. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.